I made a Snapchat, so follow me. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't wearing a nada. I'm sitting pretty impatient, but I know you gotta. Hi, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm gonna be doing a bun tutorial. As you guys can see by the title and I'm going to be using my curly clip-ins so recently I did do a review for this company and at the beginning of the video I was telling you guys that I didn't really like these clip-ins because I couldn't get them to blend with my natural hair too much but then I ended up loving them that's still the case like I still love these clip-ins literally if you see me with my natural hair out from now on I probably have these clippings in my hair like it's that serious like I literally love these clippings but a little backstory on why I don't really wear my natural hair out too often one because I'm lazy I'm, I'm just lazy when it comes to my hair and the second reason why I don't really wear my natural hair out too often is because I don't like how thin it is like when it's out and I just have my natural hair out and it's down I can like see spaces I can see through my fro and I don't like that like it really irritated me so that's why I didn't really wear it out unless it was in up in a bun like it is now but I have been wearing it out if you saw my last video and you follow me on Instagram my hair has been out so I hope you guys like this tutorial I'm gonna stop rambling now and yeah let's get started <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start off with two puff balls on the sides of my head because this is how I sleep with my natural hair and how I preserve my curls but today we're working with a very old braid out so we're just gonna put it in a bun and I'm just gonna fluff it out as you guys can see and I'm gonna put some oil in it that I got from Walmart I'm not sure the name but I'll put it in the description box the reason why I'm putting oil in my hair is because it is very dry so I want to make sure it's not too dry when I put it up in a bun okay so now that that oil is in my hair I'm gonna pull it back in a low ponytail just so I can do my baby hairs and then I'm gonna take it out of that ponytail when I'm done with my baby hair so I'm using the eco styler gel as you guys can see with my handy dandy toothbrush and I'm gonna start by just laying my baby hairs and shaping them I'm not sure how to explain how I do my baby hairs to you guys I just kind of swoop them to the side as you guys can see and then I use my fingers to make the shape of my baby hairs and lay them down a little bit more Okay, so now moving on to the bun part of this video, I'm going to grab the middle section of my hair and I'm going to make a rectangular shape in the middle of my I'm head. I'm not using a comb, I'm just using my fingers as you guys can see. And using a comb is really not going to be necessary for this type of tutorial because nobody is going to see a part in your hair. All your hair is going to be pulled up into a ponytail. This is just so you can lay your clip-ins down on your hair so it won't create too much tension. Okay, so now that I've finished my parting, we're going to start to lay our clip-ins on our hair. I'm going to take this three clip-in with, which is going to be the longest length that I use today. There is a longer length, but that's a four clip-in with, and I'm not going to use that for this video. So I'm going to take this three clip-in with and place it right above that part and start to clip it down. And I'm using the reverse clip-in method because your hair is going to be pulled up into a bun. So you don't want to lay your clip-ins the regular way because you're just gonna create a lot of tension in your hair and you probably can break your hair off like that. So now I'm just gonna flip that first clipping downward so I can place this two clip wefts right above it. As you guys can see, and I'm just placing it on my hair because I'm not gonna part it anymore because like I said, you're gonna be pulling this up in a ponytail and then I'm gonna place another two clipping weft right above that other clipping weft. So in total, we're gonna have three clippings in our hair and then I'm just gonna pull everything upward and make sure no clippings are going to be showing so there are tons of ways you can use these clippings to make a bun I personally do it like this if you want to do it a different way you can definitely do it a different way there are tons of ways to do your hair with these clippings and if you guys need more help and you want more tutorials on how to actually use these clippings I'll definitely link curly clippings YouTube down below because it's very very helpful to do so many styles with these clippings it's 
it's ridiculous so i'll definitely link their youtube down below because they have way more videos on these clip-ins and how you can style them on their channel so as you guys can see i'm using the eco styler gel to kind of tame the edges of my hair like the perimeter of my hair i'm not going to put any gel in the back because this is kind of like an everyday bun and i'm not going for the sleek look so now i'm just going to get my brush and brush everything up into a high ponytail and then i'm going to get my hair tie and pull my hair up into a bun and pull the hair tie around twice okay so now we're going to actually start to create the bun so i'm going to pull my hair up to the front and twist the back down under and forward kind of pinch the front together and then i'm going to get my hair tie and place it right over that bun okay so now that we have this shape of our bun i'm going to use some bobby pins to bobby pin down the pieces that didn't really make the cut basically the pieces that are a little bit too short so i'm going to take my bobby pins and bobby pin these short pieces down around my bun to make a nice little shape bobby pins are just a must when it comes to curly hair or any curly girl knows that bobby pins are their best friend when it comes to hairstyles so i'm just going to bobby pin the heck out of my hair and shape the bun how i want it to look and then i'm gonna kind of touch up my baby hairs because they are a little out of place because i was doing so much to the bun so this completes the end of the tutorial i hope you guys like this little styling video with my clip-ins and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on my social media platforms and now my snapchat because i do want to do some q a some snapchat q a's so i hope you guys like this tutorial as i already stated before and i will see you guys in my next video bye go follow me on snap go snap me like what's the lingo what's the snapchat lingo like